Welcome back everyone, episode 18. Let's get into it. And I just noticed something kind of cool. For once in this game, my allies are helping me. You can see right here that's new kids who I just had a marriage with as uh, attacking the last province of Atropatini. So, that would be really nice if they could take this settlement. I know they have a couple settlements scattered in Turkey, so they have some in Anatolia. It's interesting that they have all capitals, but that's kind of good. Hopefully they don't lose those. Or I guess Sinope isn't the capital, but they're over there. Um, the Maurins have a lot of settlements. And I just realized the kids have a spot there, too. So yeah, they're, they're, they must have a pretty good force. So hopefully they take this place. And then I'll control this province. Uh, by alliance. So I'm going to end the turn and we'll figure everything out after that. Oh, never mind. Some people still have skills. So this governor has some skills. Would probably want to do construction costs. And then that actually would help with army capacity of who's recruiting right here. Ready for battle. So they should be able to recruit one more now. Are you ready to serve? Yep. All right, now we'll get into the next turn. Hope everyone's had a good day or good week. It is uh, mid-January at around noon right now. I'm recording this on my lunch break at work. I work from home today. Ah, and here they come. I actually think I could take this. I actually really think I could. So, we're going to fight this on the battlefield. And if I don't take it, I'm at least going to damage their their uh, forces pretty beyond repair. Now, they have some catapults, but so do I, and I'll have defenses as well. Alright, so my game just crashed in the loading screen, so um, hopefully I've spliced this together at this point. And uh, you guys will be watching kind of backwards, but I'm going to end the turn. Uh, I think Axum is, or not Axum, uh, Garmantians are one of the first on this, or I guess not. I thought they were one of the first. But they're going to attack me again, and let me see. Let me autosave it this time too, so we don't have to do all that. Going back and forth. I think it quick saved. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to fight this again on the battlefield. And hopefully it doesn't crash this time. If it keeps crashing, I may just have to auto resolve it and take the L. And it worked? No? Not yet? Still going? Okay, it worked. Alright, well let's hope it doesn't crash while uh, I'm playing. So let me make sure, because it said there was some damage. So I don't see any damage to any of the walls. Now I don't know why it said their walls were damaged, 92%. It's just because of those watchtowers right here. Well, thank you guys for spawning on the opposite side. That helps me out. Alright, and then they're attacking with some shitty siege towers that I'm going to annihilate. Um, Alright, well this is going to be a very simple siege defense like the ones you guys have seen many times. Let's go ahead and group those. That's defense group one. I'll have you guys kind of in reserves back here. have you right there put you on flame shot and then that's really all the archers I have the mercenary troops I'll place right up here that could be good uh, cavalry I'll place you over here ready to flank and go around the sides I guess I should put the general there too who am I missing still the shitty troops oh I didn't realize I have more cavalry and then more shitty troops will be in reserves, just kind of back here. Oh Alright. Well, 
let's hope we can snipe their catapults. You are to aim for their Enemy their siege towers. Oh, you already hit them both once. And I hope the reinforcements don't come from the north and attack those gates. The enemy has been spotted. All right, let's see if I can get some manual snipes in. There's one hit. And it looked like a shot had hit it right after. This one may be too low. Nope, it's perfect. There we go. So now aim for the general if you can. And you, yeah, keep aiming down there. Actually, I'm a manual a couple shots in. Just to see if you can do any damage to these troops while they're running. Yeah, see, why are they all running now? Power has been destroyed. So, I heard a tower just got destroyed. So it looks like they're aiming, not for the gate. Let's just have you stay that way. I don't know why they're running over there. Unless they plan on attacking that gate by hand. Yeah, I may have to manual some of these snipes. Oh, this looks good. Oh, it's going to be just short. Let's see if there's any way I can bring him up. The enemy has destroyed the gates! Brace! This is a good shot right here. Are under attack. Oh, this is gonna miss just to everybody. Yeah, right in the empty spot. Oh, they were all kind of condensed. Just trying to get as many as I can killed before they get close to uh, the gate. That's a good shot. There we go. Holy shit. Now I can go back to firing on right there. Ah, that looks like that's going to be short. Yep, so here they start coming out. I may actually want to have you... Oh, you've been hit. This will help with accuracy, I think, to do a standard round. Are these guys heavy? No, uh, some of them are. We'll try the heavy shot. We'll put the archers. I think you were. Yeah, right there. Oh, what is going on? The unit's ammunition is spent and he can no longer fire. That was an interesting camera angle, but it worked. I did nail the fuck out of their uh, catapult. The gates fall to the enemy. Grim news. I should probably have them flank around too. There's only one left. Oh, but we only have two catapults left. Wow, we've been taking each other out. Holy crap, one to one. No, oh, 
that's a miss. Oh man, I need to take that last one out. Too far to the right. I'm just gonna repeat. I'm just gonna quick fire a lot of these. There we go, this one looks good. Oh, this looks perfect, come on. There we go. Now, you... Fire right in there. May need to back that up a bit more. Let's see if we can back this up. There we go, perfect. Then they'll fill it in. There's another shot. Yeah, bring the cavalry in. Just bring them all right in. Oh my god, look at how many that killed. Only had all four. This is this is crazy. Should keep shooting back and forth because it'll keep working. They're gonna keep filling right in this little tunnel. Might need to aim back a little bit. Aimed up a little bit more. Alright, let's aim a little bit up more. I'm trying to get right in that back corner, right where they're all uh, kind of stuck by the gate. God, I can't wait to see how many kills this uh, this unit has. This is probably getting a little boring to watch, but I'm having a blast. Just because I'm uh, annihilating all of their troops. Alright, let me stop him, take him off fire at will. Because it looks like some of their troops have broken through somehow. So let's go ahead. Just get over there. Pretty soon I will start the flanking actions. Fire on the skirmishers. Alright. Back to the... That might be too high. Yeah, that was too high. So let's bring it back really low. Try to bring it a little lower than that. Well, that got a lot right in that corner. Here we go, boom. That got a lot right there.
mean, I may still lose this battle, but I'm happy to uh, just get to light them up with uh, counterweights. This is so much fun. I'm just gonna keep doing this until I run out of ammo. I mean, this is getting their forces are like super weak. for those slingers and then I think it's time we bring out the cavalry now we may have to bring out the uh, sword troops too See all the health of so many other unit units are like near zero. It probably has to do with the uh, OP catapults firing directly into their giant blobs of units. Here we can. I want you to go after the slingers, and then the two heavy cav will have you line up. I guess you can come help this unit in case they have some trouble. Alright, I gotta have like two shots left. Maybe. That you can just see down there in that corner how many. Because they're just so packed together. Here's a good shot too. My units are so close to breaking too. Well that wasn't really much of a charge. So I'm actually gonna ask you guys to pull back. Let's let them get some shots in. I can't believe they, these are the armies that I lost all those good troops to. There's two stacks of my generals, and then this is how those armies perish. Because they just get stuck right here. Just get lit up. You'd think at some point they just break. I wonder if he will fire right there if I auto fire. Or if I let the AI do it. No, see. It wouldn't fire that close, it's too close. You can only manual him. Oh. Just doing my last shot. That was kind of a bad one. Get rid of those slingers. I'd like to see a better charge from you. good one. 
Let's get... Now, the reason I brought the mercenaries out is for this reason. Let's get you over here and trap them in. Let's try to make this quick. Charge. Get in there. And now it's just got to be moments until they all break. That is everyone, correct? Yep, that is. Some units here. I'll place him along there in case they regain. Oh, so it says we are losing troops. That's interesting. Maybe I should have. Ah, it won't let me. Get it right there. Nope. There we go. Right from the enemy. I wanted to have him charge in there, and he was for a minute, but then their enemy unit started to kind of change formation. Come on, get in there. So they really just don't want to go down. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Set you back up right there. Let's bring the armored camel warriors back out. Cause yeah, see they're they're right. Just break. We have gained the upper hand. Oh, we've been had the upper hand. The second they attacked me, we had the upper hand. There we go. A glorious victory All right. Be yours. Now again, mop it up. Don't want to have to deal with them trying to attack in a turn or two. Otherwise, I think we are good to end this battle. And we're Pyrrhic victory. Yeah, I did lose. I lost a lot of troops. So 571 for the catapult, 573 for the armored camels. So they didn't really come in with like a much superior force. Only by 1,300 troops. I'm wondering if I should... No, I think I'll kill the captives. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, so when I hit this button, that should have been it. Oh, okay. Oof. Well, I know I'm going to lose this one. There's no way my guys will hold. So now this is where you aggressive auto resolve. Okay, I thought something was different. So they must have attacked me with a different force on the yeah on that uh, first battle. They got crashed. Yes, and they took it. Hell yes. They didn't have to raise that settlement, but I thank them for doing that. That means I can just take it next turn. Kinda was ignorant. Uh, to new kids, if you can attack more of the Maurins. 
I would appreciate that greatly. See, now I wonder where this guy's gonna go. As long as our strength remains, we would be honored to count Pontus, you as I do like you. More. And if you're, are you allied with the Tanu kids? You are. So you I'll accept that. I'll do defensive alliance manly. with you. I could have, start having my own little, uh... It crashed again. Alright, so... Some weird stuff has happened. This is probably the middle or near end of the episode that you're watching this. And you just saw that my game crashed. Um, so, the game crashed at the end of the turn, or at the start of what is now this turn. Uh, after I had fought a battle and won it, and then auto-resolved and lost the next one in Axum. So... Since the game crashed, it didn't auto. It doesn't auto save at the beginning of the turn. It auto saves at the end. So all that stuff that you guys just watched didn't happen. Um, the battle didn't happen, and all the diplomacy and stuff didn't happen, and it reloaded me to the beginning of that battle. So I played out that battle, and I won, and then I was attacked again. So I, I did all this without recording it because I don't want to make you guys watch the same battle twice. So I did all this stuff off screen. I just went ahead and fought the battle. And uh, um, so I fought that first one, won it, was attacked again, just like how you had just watched, except this time I didn't auto-resolve it. I fought it manually. Um, and I don't know if I had done something did different in the first does. battle, but the first battle, instead of ending it how I did with the way you just watched, where I had not a lot of troops left. This last turn, I fought and I ended with a lot of troops. And so I was able to beat the next army that came and attacked me. And then they actually sent a third army and attacked me. And I won again. And this is all the guys that are left. So, uh, everything kind of played out the same. After that point, I, uh, Pontus had asked me for a defensive alliance, and then they also declared war on the Marins. Um, so you can see here, here's those notifications. You can see here, battle reports. So I had three battles take place right here. And I think the first one was this, where I lost half, roughly half, and they lost almost everybody. And then there was this battle, where I lost 200, and they lost everybody. And then there's this Pyrrhic victory, which I don't know how I pulled this off. Where, you know, I only had 200 guys survive. And they lost 5,000. So, I kind of kicking myself, I should have recorded them, but honestly, you guys would have been bored. Because it was the same thing I did in that previous battle you just watched, that the game crashed on. It was just, I, I clogged the main gate, they all came through the main gate, and I just shot catapults all in that way. So. I, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna continue as is right now. I, I don't want everyone to think that, like, I did that on purpose and, like, save scumming or something like that. Um, the game, the game crashed and I had to go back and play it again. I really had no choice. So, I guess I'll just start from over here, and then work through the rest of my turn. But, so the good news is, I I, uh, I still have Axum. I still have the settlement, still have what's left of this army. Which is not much. I'm considering maybe buying more mercenaries. And attacking again. But, I don't know. I wish I could show you the catapult I had actually had gotten to gold chevrons because of how experienced it, it it got. And in the last battle, I had to use the 40 dudes from the from the catapult after it ran out of ammo. I had to send them basically to their deaths to hold a, a choke point in the middle of the city uh, center. Well, it was actually these three units where I had to maneuver them and have them flank 
and it it cost me that uh gold chevron catapult unit uh i'm gonna go ahead and put some money in to repair these buildings even though i think it's probably gonna get attacked again within the turn we fight for you and i'll try to re recruit some more spearmen uh i'm tempted to hire some missile units and so I'll do some boost to this man. I don't think I'm going to give him anything else, though. He, he might die the next turn. For traditions, I think I'm going to do missile attack range. And, uh, it, oh, nope, it didn't crash. So see, yeah, some weird stuff's going on. I'm going to go ahead and save again. You can see there's the quick save and the auto save. So the quick save is the battle. Where I manually quick save, then the auto save is the end of the previous turn. So <laughs> I'm not doing this stuff on purpose. I'm really confused. But so th this this is good news. I was able to hold on to the settlement. I pretty much demolished all their forces, and I'm thinking about sending. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because there's no threat to these areas. There's no navy coming in. Uh, I'm gonna put him on double time. And see if we can get this admiral over here fast enough. Sad. Sad the admiral. Now, the big thing Ready for battle. is let's start splitting these guys up. So, you can take four of each. Make haste, man. My lord. Ready for orders. Let's go. At your command. And now, what we'll need from you is as many slingers as you can recruit which they will all be three silver chevrons Get the fortifications ready. so how many is that one two three four five six seven so we'll actually do that we'll do three each and then we'll do one more spear Arabic Are you ready to serve? and then once we that's done we'll split you, them up Lord. and they'll probably each roughly have like command. uh 14 ish 13 ish troops at your command and then that'll be my invasion force. I have a subject, something else that's going on. A foreigner claiming to be a great stonemason has presented himself to you. Do you wish to take him into your service? Well, if he's claiming to be a great stonemason... Ugh, this is tough. I think I'll turn him away. Employ him, I'm not sure. I'll turn him away and see what happens. And then construction site here. What do I want to build? There's a little bit of a public order problem. So I probably want to go that way. do that first and then maybe I'll end up making that no food trader I'm just making sure there's nothing I'm missing to build for some of these I'll do that I think I probably want to put this place at a food trader or actually no this is a different building tree so there's library palace gardens polo pitch Ooh, I can finally recruit. I think I'll do that a palace. I'll be able to recruit a champion. I'm gonna have to do some fields at Raga. Okay. So now what I'm thinking, so the the Tanukids did the same thing. They took this settlement and then came down here and raised this area. Let's see. So they don't really have many armies. I am eager to serve. I actually would like to mop up. I, I want to finish off the Sassanid soon. Ready for orders. So should I have Yada and the king take the capital? I don't know how to say that. If it's Tefestin, Tessaphon, Catestaphon... I don't know if this is how the C is pronounced. Ready for orders. My lord. I think what I'll actually want to do is besiege with command. the king. Let them cower before our mind. And then bring 
Or no, that wasn't the king, that was Yada. Uh, I had it backwards. Besiege with Yada, bring the king down. He'll be fine, he's a full stack. So if these warriors of fortune attack anywhere, which they might actually get misdirected very soon and be stuck over there. <sighs> Never mind. Either way, they're barely... They can attack Raga and maybe take it. But, uh... He'll come right back and take it the next turn. So they're not they're not going anywhere. I'm going to auto-resolve this. Just protective. Saved myself some troops. Occupy. Oh, now I'm losing a fuck ton of... Shit. I didn't think about what that would do. So now I can recruit catapults. Ready for orders. Hmm. Is there anything I can recruit that's worthwhile? No, there is not. At your service. Can I reach him? Because I'd probably like to misdirect him. Because I don't want these two armies to get... There we go, success. And we'll give you that authority plus one and put you at level five. So now he's stuck. He can't attack my allies because these are guys I'm worried about. I don't want them to get attacked and killed. I'm okay with uh, losing some food in one turn. Are any of these places able... No, none of these places are really able to be upgraded or everything different happen. Oh wow, I didn't realize how much food was coming from Axum. 90, and then 55. Ready for I actually do need to hold on to this place. Maybe I should recruit another catapult just in case. Alright, what do I want to research? Probably that one that takes one turn and is 10k. Just because it opens up some more building trees. And now I only have 700 gold. Shortage. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Huh, <sighs> man. So I think I'm gonna do one more turn, and if a battle happens or anything, I'll probably pause it there because this episode has gone on long enough. Do the missile damage up. We'll do the battle movement speed for the cavalry. And then probably I'll do another archer commander. I just realized these two can get upgraded. Does we he have anybody that can get upgraded? No, okay. So I'm earning a lot per turn. Uh, I finally have in a mix of alliances. I'm just hoping, I'm nervous that the game's gonna crash again. But this is, I've, I've really turned it around. I'm really happy with this campaign. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do some good things very soon. You know what I need to do first thing? I need to finally shut off the follow characters camera. I thought I did that, but maybe I'm, I was thinking of the Barbarian Invasion playthrough. I think is what I shut those cameras off on. Oh, dang it, they came and took that settlement. There we go. So as the man is escorted away, he pulls a blade and tries to attack you. Luckily, your guards are able to subdue him. But two lose their lives. So it was an assassination attempt. Can't blame them. Actually, you can. Okay, Yada, you're going to be the guy that takes on this place. But first, we need to keep demolishing there. And I think we'll probably need to demolish the library. 
Let's move back down here. So you're doing fine. I want to give it a second before I put any more money in here. I need to make sure I'm going to actually hold on to this area. So, these two armies are now complete. So let's do the final changes. Three of them are going to him. I'll give one cavalry back down. And then three spearmen, three nobles, four nobles, four spearmen. On the move, my and so Merthid, who's a part of my family, has the better army, I think. I thought Merthid was a part of my family. I thought I adopted him. Hmm. Maybe I need to adopt him now then. Oh no, Merthid. Oh, there's two Merthids. Is there? That is his name. Ready for battle. Twenty years old. Am I blind? Am I missing that he's on the family tree somewhere? Cause I thought I adopted him. This guy's not him. And he's not shown anywhere on this left side. I think the game's just glitching out, because he definitely is a general of mine. Does it say that if I click on him? Does it say what family he's a part of? No, it does not. Eh, interesting. Interesting. So I can't... Eh. Alright, whatever. I'm pretty sure he's a part of my family. So now let's begin the march. Let's bring you probably down here. This will be easier to go this way. Oh, why can't you move very far? Get moving! Yeah, if I knew they were still going to be... <laughs> Maybe I will recruit a few more troops then. Probably the best thing they could use would be... A couple more spearmen. And those guys. And then I'll split them again in between everybody. You stay there. All the buildings are good here. I don't need to upgrade any of them yet. Because the public order is kind of close. And I'm not really struggling for money. I'll wait to upgrade that until I get more locations. Everything seems to be good. See, I have to wait to upgrade stuff until I get more food, because everything costs food or public order. I think now it's time you come back in here and now they're negative one. Is there nothing else? Alright. At your command. Try to misdirect them again, if you can. Failure. Again. I could probably take them out, though. But I'll wait. Maybe I should... Because they have plenty of garrison. Hmm. You know what? I'll just wait. I'll give it a second. Yada. King, attack him. Just keep pushing these guys out. Just to clean up the troops. And I just killed the captives. And then Yada, I need you to take Arbella. None will escape. Protective. I lost a good amount, but not bad. Occupy. And then this is a yep, this is a raised settlement. Let's get you back in the capital. Eventually, I'll get you back to full strength, my king. I'll get you some Arabic swordsmen, but we need to get you there first. Success, so descent is being encouraged. Let's try to misdirect them one more time, too. Critical success, hell yeah. So they have two pretty big armies, uh-oh. Now this is a this is a fine force. 
Should I, now should I try, is there anybody I can trade with? There's not. On behalf of our people, welcome. I will recommend your... I was gonna, I was wondering if they could be a client state if they'd like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna offer a daughter yet to one of them. Is there a stronger faction I can offer a daughter to? Welcome, friend. Welcome. I in my lord. Well, the strongest of the mar my enemies are the strongest. In our That's good funny. name, be welcome and speak Oh, I can offer it to Pontius. I will give a receipt. And I just married into their uh, kingdom too. So that'll help once I get more bordering and we can uh, cities and we can establish a trade route. I think I'm gonna need to go to Tyrus. Or one of these cities to establish a trade route. Because it needs to connect to their capital, not to just a random settlement. Which is stupid in my opinion. I should be able to trade with them right now because we're connected settlements. But the game says it needs to be to the capital. Alright. Yeah, let's keep you there. And then we'll do... Yeah, a lot of these cost money. I don't want to do the ones that cost money yet. Let's do this one. Construction minus five for farms and unlock some new farm trees. Sanitation is fine here right now. And in one turn I'll be getting some stables. Where's the place where I just built a farm? That was Raga, wasn't it? Okay, perfect. Let's do, I think, the sheep flock and the camel fields. I will produce the most because the poor fertility would actually be the camel fields would be the best then. <sighs> I just need my uh, my sons to start coming of age so I can put them in power and put them in governors and other spots. There's going to be a crap ton coming of age soon. Our armies seek a route through your lands. They will act with respect and good order. I can, I can get down with the military alliance. Oh, there we go. And you guys are fighting them back. Oh. Uh-oh. Forget about that navy. Well, I guess I'll just take these uh, settlements back in a second. Because they don't have any... I mean, they can really only attack my uh, settlements on the coast. I don't know how they're not suffering attrition. How they're not running out of food after losing so many uh, cities and provinces where they probably had a lot of food. Oh, and they're fighting back. Oh, crap. They're taking them out. Dang, they just kind of wiped out the uh, Tanukid army. We respect strength and wisdom. And I'm sure that you will I'll show... I'll happily give you guys military access. Impose sanctions. Fuck them. Man. Why is there a damn plague over here? At your service. I like how they took the... their, our, their navy back. Alright, now my forces are being stretched thin. So maybe I should bring that, uh, this navy back. Turn back around. As we go. And then you guys... No, what are you doing going that way? 
Why the fuck would you go that way? Leaving the ship. <sighs> rest a while. Get right over there with Take him. Haste, man. And I'm just gonna have to leave you up there because apparently this guy can't can't just get on the fucking land. All right, well I have a shit ton of food now. I lost a settlement. I probably should just take here or back. That's really okay. Well, I'm gonna encircle you if that's really gonna be like that. I really think it's going to be a medium. I'll just buy some mercenaries. I don't know if any more are necessary. I mean, it's... Settlement for you, yeah. my lord. Alright, we got to work towards getting food. So that's going to be bizarre. That's going to get demolished. You're gonna misdirect him again. Hopefully succeed. Critical success. Now he's stuck. So now would be my chance to attack. You need to stay right there. Let's see if you can misdirect one of these armies. Probably that one. It's more dangerous. Ah, opportunity failure. My lord. Are they getting replenished when they're in my territory? I'd hope they are. We fight for you, my lord. All right, maybe it's time I bring out another general. Yeah, no. I got this. I can manage with these three armies. And this this thing is gonna it's not gonna go anywhere. I'll take it back. Anatolia. Okay, interesting. Who is Anatolia? Oh, they like me. Greetings, my friend. Greetings. I'll do a non-aggression. Just because I don't want a war with you guys. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to end the episode here with the siege on here. I'm going to retake my capital. And then I'm also going to attack this army. And this will be where we start the next episode is right here. I'm going to quick save it, make sure the game doesn't crash, but next episode I'll be taking on this army, and I think it should be pretty easy uh, to take them out. I have a lot of sword veterans, some spearmen, uh, I think the catapults are really going to help me, and then my you know, cavalry will flank. So that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, this has been a messy episode. I don't know how long this actually ended up being because I had to, I'm going to have to splice together three different recording sessions because the game crashed so many times. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.